when thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you any one that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. Israelites, we are getting into the deep things of the Most High. Every chapter in the Spirit Realm series so far are important. Make sure to watch every chapter and take notes. By doing this, it will better prepare you for battle. Remember, you were born on a battlefield. Even in the awakening, you're on a battlefield. Israelites, never get comfortable on a battlefield, especially when you're dealing with adversaries that you cannot see with the eyes of the flesh in the physical realm. Now then ever, you must put on the whole armor of the Most High. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. As we get into the deep things, the workers of iniquity and the Satans will increase the attacks against you. That is why you must have the armor of the Most High on at all times. Recognize the attacks and respond accordingly. One thing the Satans and the workers of iniquity despise when your knowledge increase about them. In addition, when their secrets are exposed. The Most High said all the secrets will be made manifest and everything hidden will become known. As the Most High fulfilled the scriptures by bringing into the light the secrets of the workers of iniquity, Israelites, be vigilant. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. The Most High said everything secret and hidden will be exposed. The Most High used this channel to expose a lot of hidden things, secrets most people are afraid to talk about, fulfilling prophecy. Yet there are Israelites fighting against the secrets the Most High is exposing, especially about the Messiah. Make it make sense. Later on in this message, I will make it make sense. One of the many ways the Israelites and indigenous black people contribute to their downfall when they make their every move public. In addition, when they reveal to their enemies their next move. Black people is always making their intentions known publicly to their enemies. That is why they lose and everything they own was taken from them. Who wins a battle by telling their enemies their strategy? So many Israelites are prideful in the awakening. They believe intimidation and screaming in a microphone and doing a lot of talking will get the enemy to flee. In the meantime, the enemy is whooping their butt in the physical and spiritual realm and they have no knowledge. If Israelites would stop rebelling against the Most High and finally humble themselves, they wouldn't perish for a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. The very people who find themselves exposing and working against their own people are puppets. They don't even know they are contributing to their own demise. The spirit of pride has such a hold on them that it blinds their eyes to the false power and strength they believe they have when they come against their own. The workers of iniquity whose altars their spirit is tied to is using them like puppets for their own demise. If majority of Israelites and the other indigenous black nations were led by the Most High, they would understand and know that unity and being humble is key. The scripture said, the meek will inherit the earth. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Because majority of Adam and Eve's descendants are prideful, Instead of inheriting the earth, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? 
The Most High is giving the remnant in this generation a lifeline. Some Israelites and indigenous black people are rejecting his help to continue to serve the heathens that rule over them and their gods. The Most High always helped the remnant in every generation. That is why there's only a remnant that will return to the Father. To the remnant in this generation, make sure you grab and hang on to the lifeline the Most High has thrown to his people in this generation. There's a lot of our people who have traded their glory for the lesser. The Most High prophesied against the wicked of his people. The Most High said all the wicked of his people will surely die. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, The evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Israelites, before we get into the word, it is important for you to know how I communicate with you. Israelites, I give you just enough information to entice you to go to the Father to get the rest of the information. Because the workers of iniquity has infiltrated our communities in every way, they control the beast system, we have to find a way to speak publicly without letting the enemies know everything. In other words, I talk to you in coded language. If you belong to the Father, when you go to him in prayer or ask him about what you heard, he should give you confirmation. This is why I stress a personal relationship with the Father. This is why I always say go to the Father in prayer and ask him. The scriptures say some have not because they ask not. Ye lust and have not, ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not because ye ask not. Israelites, we are entering the part of the Spirit Realm series that is very deep. You will need the Spirit of the Most High to reveal the hidden message. You don't want your enemies to know certain things. Your enemies have the ability to alter the writings of our ancestors. The head leaders of the synagogue of Satan have our scrolls hidden. They made the diluted version of our scriptures available to the public. The scriptures in the Bible is an authorized version and not the authentic scripture. Did you hear me? The scriptures are the authorized version, the spiritual wickedness in high places made available to you. What we are reading in the Bible is not the complete story. You need the Holy Spirit as well as the spirit of discernment to understand the altered scriptures as well as to fill in the blank. Israelites, your enemies will never give you what you need to be delivered from their power over you. The doctrines of religion is far from the truth of the Most High's words. The workers of iniquity altered the scriptures to fit their narrative. Therefore, you will need the spirit of the Most High to find the truth. The way I speak on this channel imitates the way the Messiah spoke with the people. The disciples asked the Messiah, why do you speak to the people in parables? And the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? The Messiah spoke in a way that only the righteous can understand. I also follow the way the Messiah spoke with his disciples and people. I talk to you in a coded language. The only way you will understand fully is if you do your part and go to the Father for confirmation. The Messiah said to the disciples, the reason he spoke in parables, it was given to some people to know the mysteries. It wasn't given for all people to know the mysteries. When the truth began to reveal itself, the people it was given to know the mysteries will understand exactly what I am saying. While those it wasn't given to know the mysteries will find themselves trying to expose someone. They become overly emotional and wanting to shut down what they perceive to be false. If our people spend enough time with the Father, they would know the mysteries. Unfortunately, it wasn't given to a lot of people to know the mysteries. That is why the road to destruction is massive. I always share the scriptures that reveal the truth being revealed on this channel. Despite sharing the information, certain people can't understand, nor can they see. Only the chosen remnant will understand the coded language. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not from him shall be taken away even that he hath. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, 
By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. Israelites, it is important that you follow up on everything you hear in the awakening with the Father. The Most High should be the only one ordering your steps. Don't place your spiritual journey in the hands of men. Put your salvation in the hands of the Father only. Now unto the word of the Most High. So far, you should know that an altar is a place where humans interact with spirits. At an altar is where the high priest or worker of iniquity give their gods a sacrifice and establish a covenant. There are good altars and evil altars. Because the God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is not worshipped in the beast system, the altars in the beast culture are evil altars built to idols. Behind every altar is a God. Every religious faith have their God behind every altar in their church, temples, and assemblies. I find it interesting that Christianity teach that we no longer give sacrifices because the Messiah was the ultimate sacrifice. Yet their church still have physical altars where they present sacrifices to their God. The mother harlot, the Roman Catholic Church, is their leader. And they have many altars where they present sacrifices to their God. Why are they participating in these ritual sacrifices if Jesus, the Roman God, was the ultimate sacrifice for sin? But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Did you hear the scripture? The things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to the Most High. For some reason, some Israelites believe the Roman God is the God of Israel. The word of the Most High said in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 20, they make their sacrifices to devils and not to the Most High. How else can the scripture say their gods is not our God? It's time for the Israelites that are stuck on the Roman gods to comprehend this truth. The scriptures say one thing and the actions of religious leaders say another. The word of the Most High say to test their spirits to see if they are of the Most High. A lot of Israelites are not testing the spirit of the so-called leaders in religion and the awakening. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Some Israelites allow the workers of iniquity to steal the good seed planted in them because they are not doers of the word, but hearers only. Because a lot of indigenous black people lack discipline, they are being tossed around like their double-minded God, Jesus. The scripture said a double-minded person is unstable in everything that they do. Israelites, don't let the workers of iniquity derail you from the narrow road that leads to life. Jesus is the broad road that leads to destruction. If the Roman God was the truth and light, a few would have found him. Jesus has over 3 billion followers. The path the Roman God is on is far from the narrow road. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be which go in thereat. Now that you know what an altar is and what takes place on an altar, I will show you how witchcraft and idolatry mingle with altars in the spirit realm. A lot of Israelites are programmed by what they see on television, movies, and social media. Some people believe witchcraft is what the workers of iniquity portray on television and the movies. Religious rituals are the best representation of witchcraft and idolatry. Religion is literally sorcery and idolatry. The workers of iniquity use television, movies, and the altars in their businesses to get the people to interact with the enchantments they cast on the people. In other words, the workers of iniquity use cursed items in the physical realm to establish a covenant. Without a covenant, the Satans and the workers of iniquity can't do anything to you. The kingdom of darkness used deception to establish a covenant with you. One of the biggest deception is the idol called Jesus Christ. Through this idol, so many establish a covenant with the beast religion. 
That is why it's difficult for some Israelites to separate from religion because the idolatrous spirit have a stronghold on them from the ultimate idol, Jesus the Christ. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by art and man's device. In the times of this ignorance, God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. You cannot separate witchcraft from idolatry. They go hand in hand. A lot of Israelites are idolaters. Therefore, they practice witchcraft unawares. When you go to the altars built to the gods of the heathens, you're going before an evil altar. Behind every evil altar is an idol. The God of Israel is not behind the altars of the heathens. This is where idolatry enters. The people of the Most High are presenting their sacrifice to another God. The Most High said, there should be no other gods before me. When you stand before the altars, the heathens built to their gods, you're seeking the face of another God for help. Israelites, that is idolatry. Every Israelite that have come out of religion is guilty of the sin of idolatry. This is why you must come out of her and repent. Also break the evil covenants you made with the heathen's gods. When we stood at the altars in the heathen's religious institutions, we made a covenant for their idols to become our God. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. There are some Israelites who seek the face of the idols of the heathens willingly. Those Israelites are a part of the children of disobedience, and they have sold themselves to the beast culture. To the Israelites who were misled and deceived by religion, that is how you became an idolater unaware. You perish for what you don't know. Not knowing is not an excuse with the Most High. That is why he is making his truth available for all with an ear to hear. Don't be embarrassed that you were deceived into idolatry. We all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of the Most High. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Most High is giving us an opportunity to repent in the awakening. The purpose of the awakening is for the people of the Most High to return to the Father, to serve the Father in the spirit and in truth. The awakening is not about what the sons and daughters of Belial have made it to be. We are supposed to be humbling ourselves and turning from our wicked ways. For some Israelites, the awakening have made them even more prideful. Repent. Repentance should be a part of your daily routine. All who are a part of the real awakening should be grateful that the Most High have taken you out of darkness and brought you into his marvelous light. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Israelites, I am here to show you how the Satans and the workers of iniquity are deceiving you. I am not condemning anyone, but showing you the deception so that you can make better choices from now on. Israelites, don't make excuses for your participation in idolatry. A lot of Israelites are still practicing idolatry in the awakening. It was written that you would serve other gods in the land of your captivity. Idolatry comes in many forms. Anything you put in first place or before the Most High is an idol. Idolatry is not just worshiping the heathen's gods. An idol can be a place, person, or an object. Your family can be an idol. Just because you didn't bow down to Baal in religion, it doesn't mean you haven't committed idolatry. Admiring a celebrity to the point of worship is idolatry. Vanity is idolatry. Today, the spirit of vanity is operating under the disguise of narcissism. Idolatry is everywhere in the beast culture. A lot of Israelites believe they have escaped idolatry in the awakening. If you worship the Messiah instead of the Father, you're an idolater. The scripture said all true worshipers should worship the Father in spirit and in truth. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. 
not only should you worship the Father, but the Messiah also said to worship and serve the Father. Nowhere in the scriptures did the Messiah said for you to bow down and worship him. Ever since I started to talk about who the real Lamb of the Most High is, a lot of Israelites responded with emotions instead of doing the work. If only they would spend time in the presence of the Most High, the Father would reveal the truth to them. Instead of doing the work, they follow Rome. Some people said to me, I understand that white Jesus is a counterfeit, but Yahshua, black Jesus, is the truth. Israelites, there's no difference between white Jesus and black Jesus. The doctrines about black Jesus remain the same as white Jesus. Both doctrines declare he's God in the flesh. Both doctrines proclaim he's the son of God. Both doctrines proclaim he died for the sins of the world. Both doctrines proclaim he's the Messiah. Israelites in the awakening and heathens in religion have a graven image of their Messiah. The only difference between black Jesus and white Jesus is race. Because race is the only difference between white Jesus and black Jesus, the Roman God is still the same God Israelites in the awakening are worshiping. Don't marvel at this, for Satan himself can transform himself into an angel of light. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. All Satan did was change his race and continue to deceive many as Yeshua. Until you understand there's no truth in Rome's doctrines, you will be guilty of the sin of idolatry when you worship black Jesus. Many of you call him Yeshua. The real Lamb of the Most High exists. I gave you enough scriptures for you to conduct your own research to finally know who the Prince over Israel truly is. I've challenged you in the past to ask the Father about him. So far, a lot of you are complaining instead of doing the work. The reason a lot of Israelites are struggling to transition to worship the Father, the high-level workers of iniquity and religion whose altars you stood before and made a covenant with their gods have bewitched you. O oh, foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you, that ye should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently set forth crucified among you? When Israelites stand before an evil altar, they are petitioning the God behind that altar. Once they make their petition known, they give the God behind the altar a sacrifice. Most people give the God behind the altar a sacrifice of prayer and money in religion. What Israelites are not aware of is that they gave an idol a sacrifice of prayer and money to help them with whatever they need deliverance from. When the Israelite asks the idol and give the idol a sacrifice, a covenant is established. They establish a covenant with the God behind the evil altar, giving the God behind the altar access to their life. Israelites, that is what's called sorcery. There are levels to sorcery. A lot of you are struggling and failing at life because you gave another God access to your life. The Most High said, make no covenants with the heathens and with their gods. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. When you made another God ruler over you, you removed the Most High, the God of Israel, from being your God. This is how the scripture in the book of Jeremiah that said, My people have traded their glory for the lesser is being fulfilled. Because you accepted another God to rule over you, the Most High will make those gods become a snare to you. Certainly the modern idol that have stolen the identity of the Most High in religion and the awakening is a snare to all people who worship the idol. That is why they cannot see what is written in the scriptures. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Our ancestors have been rejecting the Most High for generations after generations. This generation is not exempt from rejecting the Most High for the idols of the heathens. A lot of Israelites reject the God of Israel for the Roman God. When you put another God over you, that God is supposed to provide, protect, and lead you. Remember when the Israelites in the generation of Samuel asked for a God like the other nations? The Israelites wanted a God that could do for them like the gods of the other nations have done for their people. The Israelites in that generation had no problem trading the Most High, the God of Israel, for the little gods of the heathens. They foolishly rejected the Most High for idols that cannot do anything for them. Today, many Israelites continue in the rebellion. 
The scripture said rebellion is the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is like the sin of idolatry. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord. He hath also rejected thee from being king. Did you notice the scripture you just heard in 1 Samuel did not separate witchcraft and idolatry? The scripture revealed that the spirit of rebellion and stubbornness operate with witchcraft and idolatry. The Israelites are very rebellious and stubborn. The Israelites are also known for witchcraft and idolatry. King Saul had no problem turning to a worker of iniquity who practiced witchcraft when the Most High stopped speaking to him. The scriptures are a testimony against all Israelites who believe they never participated in idolatry. Humble yourselves. I will show you how the Satans and your pastors in religion deceive you. You thought you were establishing a covenant with the God of Israel when you went before the altars in your churches. What you didn't know is that your pastors, the high priests, and all religious leaders whose altars you stood before had a hidden agenda for altar calls. The workers of iniquity were sacrificing you to their God. When you made a covenant with their God, your spirit is now tied to their altar. The God behind the altar is now controlling you. This is why Israelites in and out of the awakening cannot shake off the doctrines of devils taught to them in religion. Religion will continue to rule over you until you denounce and break those covenants. The Most High will honor all covenants. Now therefore, our God, the Great, the Mighty, and the terrible God, who keepest covenant and mercy. Let not all the trouble seem little before thee, that hath come upon us, on our kings, on our princes, and on our priests, and on our prophets, and on our fathers, and on all thy people, since the time of the kings of Assyria unto this day. Howbeit, thou art just in all that is brought upon us, for thou hast done right, but we have done wickedly. Neither have our kings, our princes, our priests, nor our fathers kept thy law, nor hearkened unto thy commandments and thy testimonies wherewith thou didst testify against them. Israelites, that is how religion practice witchcraft and idolatry in public without backlash. Know that there are various forms of witchcraft. I wanted to show you how the Satans and the workers of iniquity are deceiving you via religion. I share with you how religion practice witchcraft and idolatry. All major religions are controlled and run by the other species of mankind in the beast system. This is the same group of people that have a perpetual hatred against the indigenous black people. When your spirit is tied to an evil altar, it is difficult. Did you hear me? Extremely difficult to get a person to see truth. The God behind the altar has blind their eyes in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Currently in the awakening and outside of the awakening, the spirit of division, hate, jealousy, poverty, sexual perversion, and many other unclean spirits were sent to the communities of the indigenous black people to destroy them. Anyone with spiritual eyes can see the sorcery that was done on a high level to destroy the black community. Self-hatred is not normal. When you desire the other species of mankind and all of its subspecies over your own, that is not normal. The indigenous black people are the image of the most high. To despise yourself is despising the most high. Participating in your own demise is not normal. The lack of unity between the people of the Most High is not normal. What king build a kingdom and turn around and destroy his kingdom by eliminating the women and children? In addition, procreate with strange flesh to erase himself. Fetishizing the other species of mankind is not normal. All of the abnormal behaviors of the indigenous black people are the results of workers of iniquity conspiring against you using witchcraft and sorcery. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. There's evidence 
everywhere in the beast culture, indicating that behind the scenes spells and enchantments were cast against our people. Only controlled people will uplift others and degrade their own. All of this is being done by witchcraft and sorcery. The reason the sorcery done by the workers of iniquity in high places work against the people of the Most High, idolatry gave the workers of iniquity access to you. When you replace the Most High, the God of Israel, with idols, your sins have caused a separation between you and the Most High, giving the Satans and their human followers access to you. The hedge of protection the Most High has around you was removed. When the Most High removed the hedge of protection from Job, his life fell apart. Sin caused a separation between you and the Most High, giving your enemies access to you. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. This is why our people are being destroyed. Black people are the number one followers of Jesus Christ. They fill those house of bondage every Sunday and throughout the week to reestablish those covenants for the heathens to rule over them. In the awakening, some Israelites altered the appearance of the Roman God to resemble them and continue with their doctrines, which reestablish the covenants. This is how your enemies continue to rule over you. This is how the heathens practice witchcraft and idolatry in public without backlash from the people. The righteous can't recognize a witchcraft ritual in religion. Religion does many witchcraft rituals every Sunday. Now that you know how witchcraft and idolatry is practiced in religion, I will show you how witchcraft attacks show up in the spirit realm. The workers of iniquity in religion are ministers of Satan. I've shown you how Satan used duality to deceive. Everything the Most High does, Satan has a counterfeit. The Most High speak with you in the spirit realm, your dream life. Satan and his angels, as well as his ministers, speak with you in the spirit realm. Satan can cause you to dream as well. The book of Jeremiah revealed that the false prophets can make you dream dreams. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Let not your prophets and your diviners that be in the midst of you deceive you, neither hearken to your dreams which ye cause to be dreamed. For they prophesy falsely unto you in my name. I have not sent them, saith the Lord. The scripture in the book of Jeremiah revealed that there are diviners in the midst of you. These workers of iniquity are causing you to dream dreams. Israelites, it is important that you know the Satans can cause you to dream. You can make yourself dream as well. If you're obsessing over something, you will find yourself dreaming about it. That is how you give yourself a dream. You must learn to differentiate from self-inflicted dreams, dreams that comes from the Most High, and dreams that come from the Satans. Dreams that come from the kingdom of darkness, the environment is usually dark. Dreams from the Satans will always seek to forge a covenant with you. The unclean spirit will try to get you to agree or accept something from them. Israelites, witchcraft attacks are done in the spirit realm. Remember, the scripture said we wrestle not against flesh and blood. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. The workers of iniquity know that attacking you in the flesh is a waste of time. The workers of iniquity know the most effective way to attack their victims is through the spirit realm. A lot of people have zero knowledge about the spirit realm. In addition, religion don't talk about the spirit realm. They keep you ignorant to the spirit realm to control you. Witchcraft attacks are attacks against your spirit. Your spirit is the real you. Your spirit operates in the spirit realm, not your flesh body. That is why when you sleep, your body remains here in the physical realm and your spirit goes to the spirit realm. In the spirit realm, 
Once the worker of iniquity give the idol behind the altar a sacrifice and the idol accept the sacrifice, the Satans who now have access to you come and engage with you in the spirit realm. This is where you find yourself having sex in a dream, eating in a dream. Your spirit is being manipulated in every way in the spirit realm. The idols you made a covenant with is doing all of this to your spirit. If you don't break the covenant, whatever spirit that was deceiving you in the spirit realm achieve its goal. What we see in the physical realm is the manifestation of what took place in the spirit realm. Division, hate, jealousy, poverty, and the many other spirits destroying the black community. Israelites, do you now understand why you must know what you worship? The people you put over you to lead you spiritually, most of them are workers of iniquity. They disguise themselves as prophets in the awakening and priests and pastors in religion. They were not called by the Most High, but by Baal. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. We will go more in depth about the other various forms of witchcraft and how the workers of iniquity use the spirit realm to attack you via witchcraft. The main purpose of this chapter was to show you how witchcraft and idolatry operates in religion. Also, how many people are being deceived through religion, as well as being initiated into sorcery via religion. Religion is not what you think it is. Religion is witchcraft and idolatry. Satan is the creator of religion. You won't find the Most High, the God of Israel, in religion. That is why I will keep saying to you that their God is not our God. The ministers of Satan prophesy to the people via idols. And I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied in Baal and caused my people Israel to err. Did you hear the scripture in Jeremiah? The workers of iniquity prophesy in Baal, not the most high. Do you still believe their God is your God? We have nothing in common with them. Israelites, seek the most high, the God of Israel, for yourself. The most high said, when you seek him with all of your heart, you will find him. Don't let the lies from the ministers of Satan discourage you from establishing a personal relationship with the Father. Conduct a fast and ask the Father everything that you want to know. The time has come for you to know the truth. The deception is bigger than you know. Some Israelites thought changing the Roman God black was all that they needed to do. Some Israelites thought the heathens concealing our Israelite identity was the greatest deception. We haven't even scratched the surface to the deceptions in the beast culture. I am here to let you see from the perspective of the Most High. The righteous remnant will comprehend this message. Those whose spirit is still tied to the altars of Baal will not. The road is getting narrow. I hope the remnant in this generation stay on the narrow road that leads to life. The Most High said only a few will find that road. Israelites, nourish your spirit while you still can. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity. And I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, saith the Lord. And I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. <laughs>